Hello and welcome to the very first ever Saturday Night's Arcade Battle Dome. We are here today with none other than Mr. Vidal, or is it, what is it, Vidal Sassoon? Your hair, Sosa? Sosa is here. He's here to celebrate after a hard work of week, a hard work week, and he's ready to play some games. And we got Papa Brad, who's a known iArcadian. However, what people don't seem to realize is that Papa Brad has eight arcade one-ups, including the big blue, which brings him here tonight. That's right. I can't wait. Let's play some games. Awesome. So there's six games that are on the cabinets that we could cross play. So, and I'm holding up too many fingers. It's six. It's six. We got uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 Champions Edition, Capcom Sports Club, which actually has three different sports in it, Saturday Night Slam Masters, the wrestling game, and then we also have Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. So those are the games that we have open to challenge because we need to be consistent as far as who, what cabs I am streaming from a Yoga Flame PCB, but it doesn't matter if you have a Big Blue or a Shinko Hadoken or whatnot. Now, uh, Brad, do you have any games in here that you haven't played yet or that you want to try? I haven't really played the wrestling games at all, ever. So. Yeah? Saturday Night Slam Master is a fun one. Okay. And have you done Capcom Sports Club? Oh, yes. Yeah, I played that earlier today with my grandson. Yeah. yeah. He loved the basketball. Yeah, so you tried all three sports or just the basketball? Uh, I think I've done all the sports. Awesome. And uh, Sosa, Fam Bam Bam, are, are you with us? <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. Check this out. So I've never actually been on a stream with Papa Brad. I've streamed with Papa Brad, but I've never been on a stream with Papa Brad. So what I'm willing to do in honor of being on a stream with Papa Brad, I'm willing to play him in some Street Fighter 2. That's what you're streaming Street Fighter 2. But let me tell you this. <laughs> then Lord Sosa tell all of you people who are watching at home this. For every single round, not every game, but for every single round that Papa Brad can beat me, I will take a shot <laughs> at this peach brandy right here. Not even open yet. Brand new brandy. <laughs> Papa Brad, how many shots are you going to make, me, uh, make Lord Sosa take? How many shots? Honestly, <laughs> none. I, mean, I am not the greatest Street Fighter player. I, I am going to get whipped. Uh, you are an excellent uh, fighter player. Uh, oh. Hold on. It sounds like Sosa's already had a few drinks. Yeah, I mean, so you might have a shot. You might have a shot. I don't know. Yes, I'll feel for you too. But every round Steph speaks me. Not every game. Every round that somebody on this pound can defeat me, I will take a shot. Not only for I, I believe you. Home, but for America. For America. 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 Fuck yeah. All right. Street Fighter Hyper. Oh, oh, Bobby Fu wants to play hyper fighting. Who's going to play Bobby in hyper fighting? Should I play Bobby in hyper fighting? I'll play Bobby in hyper fighting. And then you that uh, uh, all right, all right. You guys are going to keep calling. I'm going to go to the main screen and I'm going to find Bobby if Bobby's ready. Oh, Street Fighter 2 only wants to fight Bobby. Okay. Ooh, maybe we should let that happen first. Yeah. Yeah, let them go. Let them go. I'll bring it up. Let Street Fighter 2 only and Bobby throw down on hyper fighting. Awesome. We're, uh... So, I went Papa Brad, to buy a fucking I arcade. And they're sold out now. I told, see, what I tell Steps is I tell Steps every time I want to buy an I arcade, they're never on sale or they're sold out. And then when I have money... Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Or, and then when I don't have money, they're always for sale. <laughs> well, you know what? The Facebook Marketplace, they're always on yeah, sale. Facebook Marketplace, they're always on Facebook Marketplace. Try to find one. Uh, we're just... I want that shit, bro. I want that shit. Oh, free hug. Street Fighter 2 only. Sha Shaft is in here challenging Bobby. This is going to be a banger. This is, this is, this is great. 
Uh, free hugs. He's up there. Room number two. Is Bobby still in here? Is he going to play? That's the question. If Bobby's not, I'll have to take on Shaft, I guess. Or Shosa could take on Shaft. Let's see. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, Ricardo says. Eddie Good is here. He's playing the World Series of Poker, though. Okay, Bobby says let's go. Free Hugs is back in room two. Is Bobby joining? Is Bobby coming? Let's find out. I'm going to go to the main screen here. All right. All right, Free Hugs is waiting. Now, I've seen both these people play, and I will tell you that this is going to be a hell of a match. I don't know who I'm going to root for. But uh, Bobby's taking his time getting in the room. So what do you think? You do do you know do you uh do you have any predictions for this match, Shaft or Bobby Vu Sosa? I'll tell you what I've played both of them and both of them kicked the shit out of me. But Bobby Vu perfected me one time, so I'm gonna have to go with Bobby Vu. He's the man, the myth, the legend. You die for for your mother and all that type of deal. He's gonna pull it off. Yeah, they're gonna. Uh, how about how about you do first to five? That sounds good. First to five. All right, Bobby is going to Guile. That's his uh, okay. one of his mains there, and it looks like uh, Shaft might be picking Dalsim here. This should be interesting. I... What what Bobby Vu does, and I didn't really see very many people do this until I watched Bobby uh, Bobby Vu play. Is he uses the crouching heavy punch as an anti air? I am gonna share the screen with you guys. Ooh. I'm going to share the screen so you guys could see this match. How about that? There you go. There's the match. Bobby's Guile. And Shaft is Dalsim. Both of them are ranked yellow. Um, I think that's the second highest ranking on the cabinet. Yeah. See, the thing that's impressive about the way Bobby plays is at all times he's charging. So he can throw a flash kick or he can throw a sonic boom at any time. But Shaft is coming in with the with the air drill shit with Dalsim straight into the throw, knowing that there's there's very slim chance of escaping that shit because you're stuck in block. They're definitely good players. They're much better than I am, but I still enjoy playing them. Man, he's 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 playing really good. He, that's not even his main character. As far as I know, usually when I see Shaft play, he's he's Geef. Uh, Geef's one of them. He play, right. he'll, he plays a lot of characters. He knows the whole board, you know? Mm -hmm. But if he means... he Usually when I see him choose Geef, I, he's mean in business, man. And Bobby's not messing around. He, he's stuck with Guile right away. And that flash kick paid off for him there. So... Brad, what's your experience with Street Fighter 2? I haven't really gone to talk to you ever about Street Fighter 2. You know, is it a game you grew up with? It, you know, like, like, what's your experience with it? Um, you know, I haven't played it a lot. I mean, I, I like the game. It's a great fighting game. You know? It's, uh, you know, probably, you know, in the 90s it was huge, so I think it's, I think it's great. It is great. I like it a lot. Have you had a chance to play Street Fighter 6? No. No, I haven't played that yet. Yeah, you know I played Street Fighter 6. I'm, temp I'm tempted still because I want to give it more of a chance. The the demo, you know how I felt about the demo. But then again, if they get rid of that uh, open world garbage, I'd, I'd probably be a lot happier. Now, if you buy the game, you don't have to do that shit. You can go into, like, the way this is, where you just go into a character select screen. You can do that shit. But where are the people that are mostly playing the game? Are they in the Are they in the, the open world? Are they in the, um... I don't, I don't know. I don't play that open world stuff. It's, 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 I don't like it. I don't like yeah. it at all. Look at this, man. Freaking, freaking, uh, to die for is taking care of Dahl Seam here, man. Look. He's got just an inch away from going up two to nothing. We're missing this freaking amazing match with Shaft coming in. He tried to slide into him and knock him down, but he misses because Bobby Vu had the grab and the throw, and it's two nothing to die for. To die for is up. 
So it's. Yeah, I, said, I said that shit. I said to die for it is a bad motherfucker. There's very few people who can beat Bobby Blue. He's really, really, really good. He is really good, but so is Shep. But now Shep's got Blanca, so this is going to change a little bit. He's he's a lot more regular in playing Blanca than he is, uh, as far as I know, Dalsim. Out of all the Street Fighter 2s, Hyper is my favorite. I, I agree. Hyper is the best game. Um, Blanca had a nice advantage, but Bobby takes that advantage and says, shove it up your ass. I'm taking this round too. <laughs> Look at that. And now we got... Uh, go ahead, Sosa. Uh, I was going to say, talking about the best Street Fighter teams, I'll tell you the best Street Fighter overall to me is still Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 is a great game, but look at this. Shaft is coming in, and he's about to take out Bobby Vu this round. He really needs this round because he needs this match to go uh, to get one back. Because he doesn't want to go down 3-0. to zero. That's that's That would suck in a five-game series. First of five. From yeah, and, and see, Bobby's just doing those light punches. He's like, don't you roll at me, bitch. And then he comes up and grabs him, throws him down into the sonic boom. Blanca trying to move forward, gain some traction, and Bobby's like, uh-uh, I'm doing my little jabs. Uh, oh, you're coming forward? I'm going to get you with my leg. Mm -hmm. And Bobby, flash those kick. Those, yeah. He's Maybe. throwing those jabs because he's trying to prevent the Blanca roll. He sure is, and he's doing a really good job because when he tries not to roll, he's doing the kicks, and Shaft's having a really hard time getting in, and now he's down to like one hit, and he gets hit by the sonic boom, and Bobby's up three to nothing. Damn. I told you, Bobby Boo perfect in my ass. I played him at FT5, and he got like two or three perfects on me. His gameplay is definitely next level. Here comes, tr level. Here comes trouble, because uh, Shaft has switched to Zangief. Zangief goes in and pile drives Guile to the ground. Guile sending the flash kick into the sonic boom. And Zangief trying to get in, trying to get in. And Bobby doing a great, great defensive job of keeping Zangief away. And uh, Zangief still trying to move forward. Bobby's got all the answers. And and he was stunned, but he only gets two hits off of that stun on Geef. Geef is only, you know, even though he's down right now, one little grab from Geef and Guile's life is over. So it's a still anyone's match. He does the lariat through the sonic boom. Here comes Geef, but uh, Bobby Vu says, nah. -uh. What I think Bobby Vu does is when he throws the sonic boom, he charges and then presses forward back punch. I don't think he's doing forward punch. I think he does the forward back punch so that he can keep the charge going faster. Oh, Geef goes right into a freaking dizzy. He's down to like four, like 30, 40% life already. Um, and Geef trying to get in. Bobby's doing a great job, but he gets grabbed by Geef. Geef pile drives and tries to go in for another pile driver, but he doesn't get it. He gets it now. Guile's down. Looks like it's neck and neck. This is anybody's round here. And it's really needed, really needed on uh, Shaft's end because we really want to see more fights. And he gets it with his little foot there, and uh, it's tied up one to one. And now one we're to one. Now we're going to a final round. Man, look at that! It's like Bobby's still being. He's not letting Geef get in because he knows if Geef gets in. He's going to be pile drive to the floor and half his energy is going to be gone. Bobby keeping his keeping the distance between him and Geef. Geef's coming forward. He does his long leg sweep that Guile has that awesome reach. And he gets round, he gets game 4. So it's 4 to 0, Bobby. Damn. So would you say right now that this is pretty much he's going to Europe his ass? Is he on the final countdown right now? Or is he going to make the comeback? Uh, you never know. Uh, I've seen some crazy stuff happen with these elite players. And they're both elite players. Obviously, Bobby is on a different level right now. But I like I look at Bobby's doing a little jig. Do you think they both came in cold? Or do you think that they were practicing before the show started? Uh, Shaft's been playing most of the night. I see him in Discord. Mm. You know I hang out with the Street Fighter peeps. Uh, oh man, Bobby, he's still, he's still, he's, 
the second it starts, he's in. He's doing a good job getting in, but Bobby, Bobby's starting to lose momentum here. Look at that. He grabs him, pile drives him. Wow. That was nice. Nice. It looks like Shaft is uh, figuring this out. He's got just a little hit left. Oh, don't blow this, Shaft. Don't blow it. We need another. We need another match. Mm -hmm. You don't. Fast. Yeah, look at that. He's. This is. This is. This is. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, wow. Wow. To the. To the end. It was close. Geef gets the pile driver. Bobby, he's going to set up to, to play his defense here. His nice long leg sweeps and his sonic booms, but he gets grabbed. He's down to about 25% uh, health here, maybe 30%. He's moving in on Geef. Geef's trying to lariat out of those sonic booms. He jumped over the sonic boom, gets him with the leg. Bobby Vu's moving back. What's he going to do? Leg sweep. Sonic boom. It's been pretty consistent for him, this matchup. Geef's trying to get in. He's having a hard time getting in. He's still got a life lead. There's 20 seconds. Don't blow the life lead. Oh, he grabbed him. Oh, he's left him with a sliver of life. Geef is going to have to. Yep, he does. He gets him with the knee. Now he gets his first win. It's 4-1. to one. So now he would have to win four to win the matchup. Um, but we're going to his sixth match. Okay, so uh, Geef, using the Lariat a lot more to start. Um, to Die For has switched over to Ken. Ken is getting uh, getting the leg. <laughs> Ooh, it's looking like uh, this Ken switch is benefiting Shaft because he just knew Bobby's every move. Maybe Bobby switched to Ken because he knew that losing wouldn't really affect him because he was up by so much. <laughs> Are you saying that Bobby's going to let people win? I'm saying he's not going to play with his best character if he already is up by three. You know, if Shaft takes him two more times, Bobby will go back to Kyle. Oh, Geef is down and dizzied, and he comboed into the Shuriken, and Bobby takes the round. Damn, this is the go-home round right here. If Bobby Vu pulls this off with Ken, it's all over. Oh, Bobby Vu still plays on the regular. He does. Geef is taking control of this. There we go. It's 4-2. to two. Who's Bobby going to play this time? <laughs> War says that's when, when Bobby said he wants to play. I did not step up. Oh, Bobby said he picked the wrong person accidentally. <laughs> but Bobby, it's okay. You know everybody, dude. You know all the, the whole the whole roster, Bobby. I've played you. I know. Man, he is one of the. He definitely is one of the best. Shaft's really damn. I play Shaft and Bobby Vu. Both of them are hard. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, Shaft is coming in heavy on this one, and Bobby had no answer. Just pile drive, pile drive, pile drive. Man. Now watch, Bobby's Bobby's gonna go back to keep in the distance. Oh, he got a dizzy. He slams him. He's coming in. Geef is down. He's got a sliver of life, but he he's never out because as long as Geef is able to grab somebody, it only takes a couple hits. Look at that. Boom. Look, it's only gonna take one more. Oh, look at the life bar. Look at that. He pulled it all. Turn around. Wow. Damn. It was like instant. 
<laughs> Told you, Geef, man. You got to be careful is, with uh, Geef. Is Guile Bobby Boo's main character? Uh, what is I see, uh, what I see him play, I would say yes. Okay. Um, Shaft, I see more often than not choose Geef if he's serious. Yeah, this is excellent. This is very high level gameplay. Mm -hmm. Like watching a chess match, you know, you could see that every move is like they're pulling the specials like all the time. Mm -hmm. Damn. What, what, what people don't understand when they watch them play, a lot of people don't realize like how high of a skill these guys are. You watch people play Street Fighter, you just think like, okay, I'm going to watch people play Street Fighter. But the technique that they're using is next level. You know, I mean, you got to appreciate watching these kinds of matches. Absolutely. This is high level gameplay. Mm -hmm. Bobby, one round away. Can Shaft win two in a row here and tie it up? Ooh, perfect flash kick there. Bobby is like, I'm taking this now. <laughs> But you never know, man. Like I said, two grabs of geef and you're done. Mm -hmm. Our part is you have to get in there. Like, how do you get in there? Look at that. How do you get in there? Look at that. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, it's over for that round. That's there we go. We're, we're going to the next one. Okay. Final round. If this, if, if, if Shaft wins this, we're going to, uh, you know, the determining match. That's crazy. Uh-oh. So, Steps, would you say, if you were to count all of your matches that you played on this cabinet, would you say you've gotten your money back? Do you like the cabinet was pretty much free? Uh, I don't know about free, but I, I definitely play this cabinet more than any other cabinet. And Geef just wins this 4-4. Four to four. Um, yeah, the, the Street Fighter cabinets are definitely the most I play. And I thought it'd be Marvel Capcom, but it's not. The, the, I just like these cabinets better. They're done better. I don't know what else to say. They're fun. They're classic. Yeah. I thought I was going to be playing MVC2. I thought that was going to be my go-to cabinet. MVC2. You know, I want a garage full. 31 MVC2 cabinets. <laughs> you can't even play it. Can't even play. I don't have to worry about that problem. <laughs> I'm just damn guile. Bobby took it. There we go. So we got this next round. Shaft has to win. If if uh, if to die for wins this, all of that comeback was for not man. Geef coming in. So nice spinning lariat, but he gets hit by the second sonic boom. He tries to come in. Bobby got him with the flash kick. Bobby doing a good job keeping his distance with his flash kicks and his long range roundhouses. Oh, that roundhouse got him again. This this is gonna this is gonna take some patience here. Oh, nice! He jumped over the sonic boom. Got him. Got him again. Gra oh, he, he, oh man! He didn't, didn't get a gra he got a grab there. Boom. Final, final, final round. That's it. Boom. Wow. This is tight. This is it right here. It's a comeback. This is the shit right this here. Is, this is a comeback. There's no game sound? Oh, sh man. I wish somebody would have told me sooner. Here, game sound. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for letting me know. Man, look at this. Damn, this is neck and neck. Guile, Guile trying to keep the distance. Geef trying to get in. The momentum has gone to Shaft. Shaft's coming in. He gets the win. Oh, shit. Oh, man. What an upset. Damn. Man. I don't know if I've seen Bobby getting beat. Damn. All right. Uh, is I I would I would love to play to die for or or uh Shaft either one. I'd love to play.
Uh, Here, I'm gonna join. If somebody wants to join me, I'm in hyper fighting. All right, it's Chef. Normally, stash juice is raw. Just because we're having fun, but if I was really playing, I'd probably go with Vega. That's my main character. 
character. I like charge characters. Now, the thing that's good about Ryu that might work for Steps Advantage is the Tai only hits one time and does a lot of damage, but can't do hit four or five times. So each hit takes a little, like less damage, but you're able to combo them all that easily. These Tiger Knees are really working out for Spiat. He's trying to come in with that third hit, the jumping heavy, into the crouching medium, into the Tiger Knee, but it's not working for him. Maybe this trade is actually what Steps needs to do. Maybe she needs to get away from Pan, get away from America, and switch to Japan. You know, it seems to be working out for her. Change switch to Bell House. See, Bell House is a really good character. Those combos are, are taking a lot of damage off Steps right now. The thing about Balrog is you can charge the punch, and if you release it at the right time, you'll go through the fireball, give me that hit. That headbutt can hit you a lot of times, take a lot of damage.
Yeah, Steph's mad. Maybe Steph should have got off the Shoto. Maybe Steph should have got off the Shoto. You win. back. That headbutt. Yeah. I'm with Steps, man. I don't know but I'm hoping that Steps pulls us off. Not over. It's not over. I'm over to over as she answers back. I'm good. Yeah, he is. That was a huge victory for me. You guys want to play him? Who's going to play him? Sosa, why don't you play him? Alright then. Yes, good games, Shaft. I guess I guess uh, Sosa's going to play you if you want, Shaft. He asked if Sosa's gonna take shots after each loss. <laughs> That's not fair for him, man. Oh, I better get in the game. Get in the match. I'm like, I'm like almost halfway done with the whole bottle. Uh, here we go. Free hugs versus Sosa fam. Bam, 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 bam. Here we go, Vega versus Vega. Wait, which Vega's which? <laughs> okay, the purple one is Sosa, and the black and green is uh, Shaft. Shaft. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, Sosa's coming in, man. Damn, Sosa takes round one. That was nice. Oh, 
Sos is coming in heavy, man. I, I think Shaft's gonna adapt, though. The one thing, though, Sosa used to actually own a legit hyper fighting cabinet. The arcade game. Yeah, the real arcade cabinet he owned. Yeah. Look at this nice block. It's neck and neck. Oh, Sosa took the L there. We're going to the final round. Now Vega has that kind of Wolverine claw. That that can that flies off sometimes. I was watching this match. Part of the match, the Wolverine claw was on and it's gone. Yeah, you could lose it in the middle of the match, and then it's gone. Is there any strategic advantage to having it? Or... Yeah, it's got longer reach. Longer reach, okay. Oh, bam. And Sosa, this is this is this is going to be his best chance here. Come on, Sosa. You don't want to take a shot. You don't need any more shots. <laughs> oh. It's free hugs. It's free hugs. Damn. Sosa, he gets the free hug. <laughs> Dude, Shaft is a lot of fun to play. He's 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 a lot better than than myself, but like I really enjoy playing him and to be able to like win two whether he let I don't think he let me, but you know, he he played some weaker characters. Um that that's, you know, it's always a challenge. I, I go against him and I get really close and I never quite pull it off. We go into Yoga Noogie because uh Shaft has switched to Dalsim and uh He's, oh, Vega's like enough of that. Damn, Vega's almost pulling this out. He's he's gonna snatch he's gonna snatch victory from the jaws of defeat, and he does. Damn. Or is it double KO? It's a double KO. Never mind. Double KO. Yeah. Man. Yoga Noogie, baby. Oh, Sosa might get perfected here. Oh, no. Might be a perfect. Sosa's got to play this well. Oh, he misses Dawson. Dawson. Oh, Dawson gets the perfect. Dang. Damn, he's got the Yoga Noogie going on. And Sosa's getting stunned. And uh, free hugs evens it up. Look at that. He's going to be doing the, the wave there. <laughs> Here comes a new challenger. Uh-oh, he's he's choosing Dalsim, it's another mirror match. And, and uh, I think Shaft's gonna be like, get this out of here, man. He's gonna play a good distance game. That's the first Yoga Flame I've seen so far, though. There we go, Yoga Fire. Just gonna try to slide in, chip away at Sosa Fam Bam. Sosa Fam Bam tries to turn it around. Didn't quite do that, but does get a nice throw. And uh, Shaft is just doing teleport like crazy. And Sosa says, uh, nah, I'm going to throw you across the screen. But uh, we got Yoga Nogi now. Sosa's got down. He's on life support. And he misses the Yoga Flame. And he takes the L. Here comes Shaft again, getting in, going in heavy on uh, Sosa Fan Bam Bam. Nice Yoga Flame, pretty even on health. You gotta keep your distance when playing Dalsim, even if you're Dalsim, because 
He's got such long range. And so it really helps to practice versus people that play dull scenes so that you could get used to that. And it's hard because a lot of people don't play dull scene. And then I get stuck playing a dull scene. I haven't played a dull scene in a long time. And they take me out pretty quick. <laughs> this is neck and neck right here. Oh, Sosa takes the L. It's two to one. Shaft. Uh oh. We go E Honda. Going E Honda. Mixing it up. Gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. Ooh, dizzy. Man, he's coming in heavy with that doll scene. E Honda doing a good job of blocking, but he, he takes so much chip damage. Nice! Got into a nice offensive groove here. But Doll seems got it at that range. Oh, nice. Nice torpedo into the 100 hand slap, but it's blocked. He tries to slide and get E Honda in the leg. E Honda doing his nice swanton dive into the torpedo. The torpedo hits him and he gets the, he gets the win of the round there. That's nice. Wow. Close too, it's going right down to the very edge. Both villains have a lot of life left. Man. Man, Sosa's taking taking a lot of damage. We got Dalsim coming, you know, he's got like 70% life. E Honda down to like five. He's done. All right, final round. All right, Dawson. Nice, Yoga Noogie. Torpedo, Sosa's gonna try to pull this off and even it out, man. Nice. He gets it. It's two to two. Two to two. Is he switching? Who's he switching to? Guile? Oh, Blanca. Yeah, he's got he's got a really good Blanca. Um, and nice roll. I mean, this is a similar character, E Honda and Blanca. I, it's hard for me to tell who's getting the advantage, you know. Um, man, in comes in comes Blanca. They got that nice bite on E Honda. E Honda's really got to start making some moves. He's got a hundred hand slap, but he gets he gets taken out. That hundred hand slap got you know that that didn't that didn't hold up any value. <laughs> oh. Motion at the air. Yeah, that torpedo seems to be doing the most damage for him. Block has got that electricity though, and I think that kind of almost what trumps. E Honda in this kind of matchup because other than that, they're really such a, similar. Such high level play too. I mean, you just look at the special moves. It's like special moves, special moves, special moves. Yeah, it's amazing to watch. Yeah, and that uh, the hundred hand slap—that's the first thing you ever spam when you first play Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a novice player. When I pull one of these moves, I'm like, oh, he's doing a hundred hand slap, or he's doing the torpedo move. You know, but just to watch high level play like this. Where you're just doing move after move after move, you know, you need strategy. Yeah, so, so I was hoping I could get you to play some uh, Capcom Sports later because I figured that might... Yeah, I'll, I could play that. Yeah. Play some different things, too, but, uh, you know, the Street Fighter people were in here right away, so I was like, alright, we're going into Street yeah, Fighter. Yeah, they're, they're great, too. I mean, watching this high-level gameplay, this is awesome. Yeah. I mean, I am, I am a rebel one. 
so. Like, yeah. Deservedly, deservedly so. Oh man, that block is coming. This is amazing, so, I mean, you know, also, just being able to switch up from one character and knowing all the moves, then to another character and knowing all the moves and the, the you know, defense and offense attacks. Really fun to watch. Yeah, I play I play a lot of Shoto. I don't play much else. I could pull out I could pull out a Blanca if I have to. Or an M Bison. You know. I played I tried playing Balrog a couple times. You know, it's you kinda get in your groove of your characters, but there's some people who just play this game so much they know the whole board. But yeah, that's amazing. You can tell I mean there's definitely a lot of high level players playing on the big blue. Damn, he took care of business on that Ken. Ken got shut down. All right, so what do we got going on here? We got Blanca and, oh, he's going to Guile. This should, this should be an interesting match. This is a repeat of what we saw with the Bobby match. Nice. See, Guile's got that range that makes him so deadly with that roundhouse kick. And then he can keep the distance with the sonic boom. But you gotta get you gotta get really proficient with Guile because it's very easy to especially using an arcade stick to mess up the sonic boom or the flash kick with the direction. Damn. He took him out. I think Chef's like, I'm closing this down. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing good. <laughs> I, I wasn't talking to you, Alexa. <laughs> Man, okay. Come on. Come on, Sosa. Make this last a little bit longer. Oh man, he's he's definitely he's definitely not as proficient a guy as Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bobby's very high level. Damn, there you go. There you go, Sosa. He is good. It's it, if you got two against him, you're doing pretty good, man. You're doing pretty good. Uh, we can always go back to Street Fighter, but does anybody else want to play Street Fighter in the chat before we like start trying something else? Cause we, I, I want to play. We want to try some things on the cabinet. Um, but people want to play. Uh, Chef said, "Good game, Sosa." Uh, they. Yeah, thanks for- Oh, look, we got- Oh, dude, look. No, we're gonna- We should spectate this. Free Hugs versus Gnostic Messiah. This will be a banger. They're high level. Hey, Sosa, after this, you- You wanna play Papa Brad in the sports club? Alright. Let's play the basketball. I played that earlier today. My grandson. He's the he's the grandfather that's too cool to be your granddad, Papa. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> he was uh, well, the first time we played. My grandson beat me every time, and uh, actually won this time. So uh, I must have gotten better. He was shocked. He was like, "I thought I was gonna win again." <laughs> Look at this. Na uh, Gnostic's coming in. He's like keeping. He's keeping Gee from coming in. He's doing a very good job. Which with 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 uh, somebody that doesn't have as much range as a Guile like Ken, is pretty good. But look at he's coming in now. See that that's that's the when he come when Geef gets in, you're screwed. And that's that basically. That's basically what, what Shaft's going to do every time with that Geep. And he knew he had to pick Geep because he's playing somebody that's legit. <laughs> Definitely. Ooh, here we go. Ken got a nice throw on him. He's into a dizzy. He got to combo that. Yep, he does. And uh, look at this, man. He's coming in. He's got his nice footsies. He's dizzy. He throws him and gets gets around. Gnostic Messiah. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Wow, that was, that was beautiful. Like, move after move after move. He didn't even have time to recover. Like, 
of time to recover from that. Man, he's slanting. Nice pile driver. I, I see, Pop Brad. I don't know if you have grandkids over or if uh, P P Sosa's kids are just. Well, my have... grandkids left. My, my grandkids left earlier. Yeah. yeah. They were they were here in the morning. Damn, shaft means business. Look at that. He barely edges that one out, but gets the win. Oh man, into the dizzy shafts like I'm taking this now. Yeah, you don't want to mess around when you're playing another gold rank. If you have a chance to take it, you just take it. He's still got a hit, but there we go. Two to zero. Nice. All right. Hey, are your kids any good? Could they play Capcom Sports Club? <laughs> Do any of your kids play Street Fighter? Could we have like Pop Brad versus one of your kids? beat <laughs> me. Oh man, here we go. Which which one would you have face Papa Brad? Are they ready to go? Nice. Three nothing. You're texting your kid? <laughs> Round one, fight. <sighs> All right, it's three to zero. Here comes Zangief. He's going in on Ken. He grabs him. He goes to, to the pile driver. Geef is coming. I'm going to see if, uh, if, uh, War444 wants a match. I don't even know if he's in the chat anymore. Let's see what we got here. All right, Gnostic gets gets it there. It's three to zero. Sosa disappeared. I got. I don't know if he's getting a kid or what he's doing. I matched his. I watched his war. See if he wants a fight. I just want to watch at the moment. Okay, that's cool, dude. War. That's fine. Let me know if you want a battle. I'll play you or whatever. Uh, All right, he's here. He's gonna play. See him back there? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll jump over to that. I'll jump over to that. Okay. Are you doing a doing a turbo or hyper? Uh, which do you want to play? Uh, I'm better turbo. All right, we can go turbo. I can go turbo. There's nobody in turbo right now, man. So that's good. Let's get some people in there. I just say quick match. Um, you just go into like room one or two or whatever, and you click the. Find the room, okay. You click the red, yeah. the the red button. Do I have to put a room number? Uh, no, no, you don't need a code. Okay, so 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 fan bam is in room one. That's it. Joining, okay. All right, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. It's it's yeah. Sosa's kid versus Papa Brad. I'm gonna get an education here. Ramsey, I'm sure, Ramsey I'm sure, versus Papa Brad. I'm sure Sosa's taught him well.
Nice. Oh, that that wasn't a real match. <laughs> I was like, Papa Brad's going right into Shirukens, man. Shirukens. How old is Ramsey? Huh? You've taught him how to play, haven't you? Yeah, I, I could tell. <laughs> he knows his moves, man. Look at that, he took out Papa Fred. Uh-oh. Man. Papa Brad, damn dude. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to get a little bit more aggressive, Brad. This kid this kid's pretty aggressive. Man, okay, so, so he's he's doing a really. You've taught him some things, so so what have you taught him? I play with him a bunch, a bunch of times. And, and you taught him, right? Or did he just learn? Yeah, yeah, I taught him. Taught him like fireballs and like So, so you sent your protege to fight Papa Brad. <laughs> oh, he got him to the super! Oh, but he got him. Papa Brad got him. You gotta teach him a lesson. You only learn from losing. <laughs> he likes to use the, um, the, the high, uh, shuriken a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, so... Yeah, but the heavy attacks don't always pay off. <laughs> Oh, he almost got you! Nice. Oh, nice. Damn. Yeah, hey! He's gonna take that up and go to normal speed. You want to get some games? You can fight us, man. Yeah, E-man. It's uh, all you have to do is throw out a challenge, and uh, we'll play. Um, and thank you for joining Outrun the Neon Sun. I, I like your Wednesday night streams. Um, that shows a nice, it's a nice entertaining show. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, Brad. He's coming, he's coming. Oh! Oh man! <laughs> this is fun, man. I I'm glad. I'm glad we're having the we're having a child versus a grandfather. That's great. <laughs> oh. Dang. Nice. I guess you got two more to lose. <laughs> oh no, there's another round still. Another round. Is E Honda your main, Brad? You don't have a main. Okay, so you need to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
dude, we gotta do, we got, we gotta do, when we do this show again, we gotta do a show where Brad takes on, don't you have a friend, Sosa, oh, Sosa's talking, Sosa, you have a friend that plays, like, classic retro games, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, could you get, could you get that dude? Could you get that dude? Yeah, could you get the arcade addict to challenge Papa Brad in, like, old ass games that he likes? <laughs> Is it like, what, like centipede and shit, or what? Yeah, uh, that's his jam. Centipede? Atari? Yeah, Brad loves Atari. Oh, you're cute! Damn! <laughs> Way to go! Nice! That kid was mad that Papa Brad got a win. <laughs> yeah. uh. Does does out does outrun the neon sun have a big blue or a shinku or a yoga flame? Yeah, if the cell then yeah, throw down with somebody. Okay, so who's gonna take on Iman? Somebody's gonna take on Iman after this. Cause he's waiting for a match. I'll take him on. How about that? I'll take him on, but you guys are gonna have to commentate. No silence. <laughs> oh, Brad has switched to Chun Li. He did get a win, so he didn't get shut out, so that's good. Oh, dang, Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad gets around. Man. Brad's trying to jump in, and Ramsey's like, uh uh. <laughs> I, I don't know for some reason, I really want Brad to win this one. You do? Yeah. Why, so you. And what, teach him more? I think we're out of delay, Brad, but yeah, he took out. Okay, is that. That's four? Yeah, there's one more. So. So, Iman is ready when we're done here. I don't. I need one. I'd love to throw it down. No, this is my jam. Yes, you definitely need one out on the Neon Sun. I recommend uh, uh, if you're if you're you know I recommend the Yoga Flame or the Shinku because the PCB is better. My Big Blue has the Yoga Flame PCB in it because I have a Bobby Vu deck. He made me a custom deck that's like clean like a mother. It's pretty freaking awesome. Um, but I'm pretty sure they'll come out with a new cab here this year. You know they always come out with Street Fighter, but. Uh, you know, who knows? We'll see what it is. It's nice. I like that deck because because the big boost low too low, but I could sit in my office chair and play it, which it makes it great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, it is. I have a riser I can make it on wheels that I can make it a little bit taller, but I don't know. Oh, nice! Amazing, amazing! I got clobbered by Sosa's kid. All right, awesome. all right. He's good game. All right. Good game. I, you guys, wow. you you, you guys keep the chat going, and I'm gonna go fight Iman. Okay. Talk. Take the chat. Whatever. What's his, what's his name? 
I was in Super Turbo. I don't know which one he's in. I'm going in all the Street Fighters. Is there, are we doing Super Turbo? What's what's he what's he want to do? Yeah, what game? All he said was let's do it. Yeah, which game, Iman? Which game? He's on Super. Super. He's on super. Okay, there he is. Dark Brown Games in here. Not fool about this cabinet. He's he's welcome to throw down too. I don't think we're ever gonna get off a of Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, so then you wanna play because it's the shit. Alright. Okay, I'm waiting on him to start. Into the throw again. Damn, Steps, you got it. I see Rex is in the chat. 
I have no, I have Russia no hope is, on this. Russia is rooting really you on right now. I get you, Russia smoke. is rooting you on. I need to, I'm gonna have to switch it up, man. This is... You might have to switch it up. You might have to switch it up. I originally thought Rexka was gonna be on here with us. <laughs> All right. That Chun Li man is coming fierce. Coming fierce. Papa Brad is just in shock. He can't say nothing. He won't say nothing because the play foul is just too crazy to get down like that. Now Rex are saying for you to hit that heavy punch in order to counter that throw. And he said he doesn't give a fuck about joining us right now because he is watching this Stanley Cup. That yeah. was almost too perfect. That was almost a perfect. Well, Vegas is in the Stanley Cup. You can tell I haven't played Super Turbo in a minute. Super Turbo is great. Super Turbo is great. I'll run the Neon Sun say he didn't have his cabinet, right? Nope. Okay. Damn. So, Dark Round Gaming say he's setting his cabinet up right now. Um, I need to see if Iman will take me and go on Hyper Fatty. Oh, e man Steps challenged you. If she wants to rubber band this shit and some hyper fighting. You gotta do this, yo. You gotta do this. No bitching out now. Do it for America. Do it for the people. Do it for the block. Let's see if he shows up. I'm gonna take a shot. If e man joins right now. Oh, General Tower. I will take I don't know who that is. I'll fight him. I don't care. Code 1770. Then nobody can join. And it... oh, Ema says he plays all of them. He plays all of them. Is this him right here? Yeah, he's fine. Yep, that's him right there. Let's go. Oh, wow. He went. What? I thought he picked Chun. Oh yeah, he did. He went with Chun Li. Round one. Fight. Really good with his throw game on Chun Li on both games. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Round two, fight. Steps to try to use the What? Damn, he's got some good bounces, man. I keep bouncing the other side and not stepping it. Good bounces. I like that color palette for Ryu. It's nice. My favorite color for Ryu is the ultimate color for Champion Edition. Damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pro game is, is, is good. See, Chun-Li is different in this game because I think that projectile was a half circle and in other games it's a charging move. Steph's got him with the air tatsu, air jumping heavy, the crouching lights, there's the helicopter, the spinning bird kick. He's using that spinning bird kick to push Steph into the corner. She's dizzy, back into the throw, the sticky throw leads it. Wasn't able to. Steps is coming with a bunch of jabs and a bunch of light kicks. He's coming in trying to do the throw, but wasn't able to. And got steps with the crouching attack. Wow. Now steps did call him out to this game. Steps did call him out to this game. I wanted to have. I wanted to fight him in the in the game I play a regular. So I knew, you know, that's what I wanted. I, I wasn't about winning or losing. It's about figuring it out. So, you know. Mm. E 
man just told Rexy that each pound is a hundred dollars that Rexy can't be. Just one more, huh? Yeah, Steph's pulled that off. I looked over her, I was on mute and all that. I'm like, geez, yo, geez. Steps is up. Oh, steps steps. Is up. But steps pull one. It's no longer a shutout. Way to go. Now they're on the card. Nice steps. Nice. The chat is saying nice steps. I see steps over there. Look at steps over there. Sit down deep in the game. Concentrate and all. Part. Steps wearing a hat. A beanie. A bandana of some kind. Get in the game on. Yeah, steps. Get it. Get it, steps. Get concentration get it. going. Yeah. It's on now. Got him with the yoga nuggies. Into the slide, into the yoga nuggies. Is he getting cheated? Is he getting cheated? There it is. Yeah. Yoga nice. nuggies all day long, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Oh, she countered it with the crouching medium. That dolls them, yo. The thing is, you can lock like the dolls them. Like, yeah. They, they all got, like, like ways to turtle them. Say, like, you got them against the wall. You can fireball, 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 to jump. DP, fireball, DP, fireball, DP. Dolls them has where you can standing, heavy punch, standing, heavy punch, and jump, standing, heavy kick. And you can just lock them in places if you're able to get that, you know? So, this really could go both ways. It all depends on, on who's able to lock whoever first. This is a good fight. This is definitely a good fight. Kids out here running in the driveway all crazy. Having fun. I don't want to yell at them too far tonight because I'm just having fun. This fight, this is a good fight. This is definitely, definitely a good fight. I'm on to it. That dolls me, yo. I, 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 I want steps. Steps, you gotta pull this off, steps. Pull this off. Wow, steps comes back. Nice. Yeah. 
I'm trying to watch it on the YouTube stream because for some reason it's how blurry it is. Yeah. Oh, someone look on my phone. It looks great on YouTube. Hell yeah, it looks great on YouTube. It looks great. Yeah, when I'm watching it, it looks like perfectly sharp, but look, this is all fuzzy. I know. How do you tell what's going on? So this is what it comes down to right here. This is what it comes down to right here. It's 4-2. Steps has to go three in a row. Who does Steps pick for her last character? She goes with Ryu. Steps has to go three in a row with Ryu or it's over for her. Steps, you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. So the dark realm gaming every day is fucking having set up. Let's check with the chat to see if he answers. Round two, fight. I'm with you. I'm sending you the spirit of the dolphin. I'm sending you the strength of a tiger. You got this. The wisdom of a bald eagle. Do it, Steps. Yes. Yes. Steps coming in with the projectiles, keeping that distance, keeping Blanca away. Got Blanca onto the ground. Projectile. Again, it looks like only oh, one more, maybe two more, and he's in stars. Uh, got this, Debs. Keep his ass away. Keep his ass away. Keep his ass away. Mm -hmm. Got him with the tattoo. Low on life. Oh, shit. He's one hit away. There it is right there. Yes. Wow. Yes. Got him, Steps. Three, four. Steps, you only got to get two more. Dark Round Gaming, I don't know if you're in Hyper. I don't know if you're in Super. I don't know if you're in Gamer. He went back to Chan League because apparently he's a fucking guy's ass kicked. There's the throw. I'll go with throws. Mm-hmm. Throw up the throw. Last time. Yeah. Damn. The 
was trying to project, I was trying to call her. Man, try to try to get him. I'm expecting him to come with the throws. He's going for the throw, but he just wasn't close enough. Damn. You win. Which game? Which game, dude? I don't Which... know. I don't know. You don't see him or you see him? I don't know. I was in the hyper, but I can go to any of those games. I just need to know what game. I don't see anybody in that one. Super Turbo? Yeah, he's in Super Turbo, but I don't know what his code is. There he is, is. yeah. Pop Brad's playing somebody? Is. Oh, I want to put one. What's the code? What's the code? No, I just put a spectate. He needs to say what the code is, otherwise you ain't gonna be fighting. <laughs> Did he say what the code was? It's 1912. 1912 is the code. Good games, Ivans. I had fun. You can tell I play a lot more hyper fighting than Super Turbo lately. I need to get on Super Turbo and practice. Alright, Dark Realm Gaming. I have no idea how good this dude's going to be. And we got Real Sosa Fan Bam Bam, who's been having one too many sips of the whiskey. Um, Sosa's going with who? Who's he going with? Ken? We going to mirror match? Sosa's all about the mirror matches tonight, man. All right, so uh, Sosa is the yellow can, I believe. Dude, don't be Akuma. That's cheap AF. That's not it. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. There's some lag going on here. Definite lag. Whose lag is it? Yours or Dark Realm Gaming? Is it really? Nice throw, Sosa. Sosa goes up one to zero on Dark Realm Gaming. So. comes Dark Realm Gaming. He tosses Sosa into the corner. Coming in. Sosa coming out of the corner. Coming in. Going with going with the heavy kicks. Into the Shuriken and oh into the super but he's blocked and misses and in comes Dark Realm with the throw. Sosa is down. He gets his first round. Dark Realm Gaming. Alright. Sosa coming, coming in. Trying to roundhouse him. Got a nice throw. Dark Realm trying to come in. Sosa doing a great job of keeping him from coming in. Nice roundhouse. 
good throw game. Oh, man, dude, you took him out clean there, man. It's but here we go, man. Final round. Dude, dude, get. <laughs> Dude, dude, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a copyright strike. You better stop. <laughs> Damn, Sosa, two to zero. I don't think I've turned on Big Blue in a few months. Well, then you should do it, Ricardo. I should play more Super Turbo. I I was playing Super Turbo, and then I got into playing Hyper. Everybody and their brothers on Hyper fighting on this cab. I had no answer for Super Turbo because it's such a different speed, man. It's so much faster. You really got to be used to the speed. Now I see why Pete. What? Yeah, that's that. That's kind of a dumb decision, I guess. But you know, it's not my decision. So that would be on the arcade one-up employees. Well, I, I, you know, maybe eventually they'll get it. It probably depends on sales and how many people play the cab and all of that, you know? Um, I just go with what they give me, man. That's it. You know? Nice throw. It's tied up. At least round-wise. Nice. Damn. Three to zero, Sosa? Man, you're not even giving Dark, Dark Realm a chance. I'm hoping Papa Brad comes back so we could, like, play maybe some Capcom Sports Club or something else before we quit for the night. I didn't even realize Papa Brad left. Yeah, I can see his game room. Yeah, I can see his room there, his game room. I, I, I'd like to see some other games, too. Just, just because, you know? Play some Capcom Sports Club play some Saturday Night Slam Masters. But we, we've been playing Street Fighter for like two freaking hours. It's just too damn good. Nah, maybe we should finish with that. We should try letting Brad play some Capcom Sports Club or something, you know? Man, he switched it up to Honda, but it, it's really neck and neck, man. Look at this. Oh man, that super didn't finish, but the but the um, Tatsu did, man. All right. So are you gonna get a? Are you gonna win five to zero on Dark Realm Gaming? This game? Oh, Street Fighter V. That's a different game, though. It's not the same. Just like Super Turbo and Hyper Fighting are not the same, you know? You could be good at one and not the other. Dude, there's a little bit of a delay here, so you're kind of playing spoiler, man. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Alright, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it. I think Papa Brad went to eat a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's a good game. That's a good game.
Yeah. Yeah, War wants to pl wants to see at least see some Capcom Sports Club. He said that he's waiting for a friend or something to come visit. I, I if he if he's still waiting, throw hands, War. We could do Darkstalker sometime, that's no problem, I got the PCV still. It's already been two hours, yes it has been two hours, War. It's about almost 11 o'clock. When did we start, 9 o'clock? We started 9 o'clock. We've been playing, yeah, Street Fighter for two hours. Boom! We got right into it. We didn't mess around. There wasn't much of a pre-show. It was like we talked, I slipped my tongue a few times, and then we started getting into Street Fighter right away. Sosa's up 4-1. to one. Uh, I tell you what, Sosa, um... Well, I don't want both people. We need to have somebody on mic. We can't just play each other with nobody on mic. <laughs> Round two, fight. He's back. Sweet, Brad, you're back. Yeah. Hey, hey, we're gonna do some. My wife needed me for something. You're fine, man. I just gonna say we're gonna switch to some Capcom Sports Club. Uh, after this match, and then we might go back to some Street Fighter. I just thought it'd be good to play some other games. Maybe a couple rounds of Saturday Night Slam Masters and or Capcom Sports Club, you know? Yeah. If anybody wants to play Saturday Night Slam Masters or Capcom Sports Club, throw, throw it up in the chat. Um... Man, Sosa, you're taking, you're taking out, you're taking, you're taking your anger out on Dark Realm, man. Look at this. Damn. Boom. Okay, five to one. All right. Who's gonna play Capcom Sports Club? That. I like that game. Alright. We're going to play uh, some Capcom Sports Club. Yeah. Um, okay. I guess you choose the sport after it. You just go in there and get in a room. The basketball is fun. Yeah. Sosa. Did so? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. All right, all right. If nobody else wants to play Capcom Sports Club, I'll play Brad Capcom Sports Club. Um, War says I have to pay attention to my phone. I I know who IMDK is, dude. But if you want to play a game, you can. If you don't, that's fine too. Oh, Dark Realm Gaming's in Capcom Sports Club. You want to play him, Brad? All right. Dark Realm Gaming. G G. He's even Stevens, buddy. We're one one on stream. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, how much? How much of that bottle? How much? How much of that bottle did you drink, dude? I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't have a time limit. It's just whenever we're done, we're done, man. I don't, I thought we played. Please, everyone in the fucking chat, this is definitely going to be a four-hour stream. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. 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 Yeah,
<laughs> Watch everybody empty out of the room, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Uh oh. Boom. Or your ass should have got on this damn street fighter. Damn it. He's waiting. He's waiting for somebody to come over. I'd like to see him fight something. Something. Yeah. So would I. So would I. You know. I have no problem watching him get beat up. I, I, I have no problem watching him beat someone up. Yeah, so so Papa Brad's up eight to six on Dark Realm in this in this uh, basketball game. I love how they all cheer as soon as you score. It's like okay, so Dark Realm trying to go down. Papa Brad coming back. He's in the pink. He's two to two. He gets it twelve to six. Papa Brad's up by half a dozen. Dark Realm needs his point. Dark Realm comes in and slams it down. It's eight to twelve. He's within four. He's got to stop Papa Brad. Papa Brad comes in with the dunk. It's 14-8. Dark Realm passes it down court. He goes in for the dunk and he gets it. It's 10-14. Papa Brad going downfield. Is he gonna? Is he gonna dunk? I said field. It's court. He misses it though. It gets blocked by Dark Realm. Dark Realm shoots it from half court. Misses. Papa Brad shoots it from out, like almost the whole court. Misses. Here comes Dark Realm coming with the ball. He gets it stolen by Papa Brad. Papa Brad goes down court into the dunk it's 16 10. there's like a minute 02 left in the quarter or the half it's either quarter or half so i don't know in this game papa brad's up 18 12. can't no but capcom sports club does <laughs> no but capcom sports club does uh, does the Mortal Kombat company have a spectrum? No, so-so. Um, what other ones do they have online? Oh, does Ninja Turtles or does the Simpsons have spectrum? I have no idea. Mm. But you can spectate on all these arcade games, can't you? No. If I plug it into my laptop? No, you can, the reason why you see so much... They, they, everybody gets yeah. on stream with HDMI. That's why you think they're spectate. There's not spectate. I, I, could, I could plug that shit into my laptop and, you know, go in second player and watch it. Yeah. Look at it. Damn. Papa Brad, 26 to 22. That was the whole game? I need a fucking arcade, Joe. I need an arcade, and I need an Afghan legend. That's what I need. Yeah. That's what I want. I want... A Shaco Hadouken, a Turtles in Time, Ready? I want an X-Men 4 player, a Dragon Slayer. See, now I'm willing to take an IRK Dragon Slayer if I can get a fucking IRK Space Ace 2. That's what I want. I want an IRK Dragon Slayer and an IRK Space Ace. You're, and I'm fucking rough mania shit from IRK. That would make me happy. Three IRK cabinets, that would make me happy. And then I want those RK one ups. And I think I'm done. You're done. <laughs> yeah, right. He wants the Dragon Slayer and the Space Ace and the Retro Mania. And it's like, dude, dude. Yeah, but he wants the skin. Sosa buys some cabinets just for looks. Yeah, you can have to actually play it, not just look at it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Dude, dude, it's 12 to 10. Are we doing like first to three in basketball? Is that what we're doing? Okay. That's fine. 
And then the quarters, it's only like a quarter, it's like the game's two minutes long, so. Alright. So, did that count as a win, or what was that? that was, or was that the game? Okay, it says, it says one to zero. Oh, so it's best of three, or what do we do? No, first to three. All right, so we got Papa Brad's down two to two to four. Dark Realm needs to win this. Dark Realm comes in at six to two. Papa Brad passing it down the court. Papa Brad coming in with the Dunkaroonie, and he's oh, this wasn't that was a uh, here comes a new challenger. Never mind. Okay, who's up right now? Papa Brad is up one zero, right? I'm up two. Ready? Okay, if. Dark Round Game wins this. I will take a quadruple shot. Four fingers. I will take four fingers. Yes, if Dark Round Game wins. <laughs> if Papa Brad wins, I'll take a double shot. Of water. <laughs> of water, so it's of water. It's like no matter what, you're taking a shot. I got it. For America. I'd love to see Papa Brad get drunk. I'm, I'm all into this show. And we're gonna change the name. We're cha it's no longer Arcade Battle Dome. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Uh, watch, watch Papa Brad get d wasted. Are you fucking wasted? <laughs> Brad's got a huge lead, 25 to 18. Three in a row, three in a row. Practicing with my grandson paid off. Practicing with my grandson paid off. Thank you, Carson. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe you should play a different sport versus one of Sosa's random kids. <laughs> <laughs> Challenged you. They said, Ready? Sparks and 
baseball with a net. <laughs> Or Slam Masters. What about Slam Masters? I've never even played Slam Masters. Either. He hasn't either, so it's an even Stevens match. Okay. It's never played. All right. I've never played it. All right. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Got it. Okay. Room number one. I think it's only two buttons, Brad. It's uh, attack, jump, and pin. Three Back, jump, pin. Okay. Back, jump, pin. All right. I'm waiting for you to get in room one, Brad. Wait a minute. I don't think I do, Brad. Who wants to be my bed? Oh, Dark, Dark Realm got in there. I thought we were waiting for Brad. That's okay. Dark Realm didn't even press start. Oh, Dark Realm left. He did? I don't, I don't know. Somebody's asking to get kicked. If Spartacus wins, Spartacus Julius Caesar, if he wins, we will take a shot. Who won the basketball? Brad. Basketball. Brad. That's, okay, so then that's a double shot. All right. Double. We're waiting. That's a double. I'm going to have a Coke. Nice. Is there rum? Is there, is there rum in that Coca-Cola, Brad? You're you're ruining the name of the show. It's Swatch Papa Brad Get Drunk. All right, so Papa Brad's in there, right? Are you guys fighting? You have to press start. Oh, they were... you're going to exit and go back in? Okay. When I first got the big blue cabinet. Who's your favorite character? Uh, the pink-haired person. Is that is that Gunlock? No, that's not Gunlock. That's Gunlock there. Brad won. Brad Brad won. Well, now you got you got to keep going. It's first to three, right? All right. Whatever America wants. Whatever America wants. Papa Brad versus Sosa's kid. Which kid is this one? How old's this kid? Okay. Are you ready, Steps? Here it comes. You gotta answer fast. Are you ready? Hot dogs or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Aliens or predators? Aliens. Bernie or Jason? Jason. Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Street Fighter. Marvel's Capcom or Street Fighter? Street Fighter. Alright, alright, alright. Nice, nice. Fight Stick or Hitbox? Fight Stick. Xbox or PlayStation? Mmm, that's a tough one, Xbox. PC or Xbox? Xbox. Ooh, McDonald's Burger King. Uh, McDonald's. What? Jumbo Jack or Whopper? Uh, what the hell is the Jumbo Jack? Really? You don't have Jack in the Box? No! Have you heard of Jack in the Box? I've heard of it. It's like, it's like in bad areas of town, isn't it? Really? Oh, it, are you serious? 
I, I don't know, man. We we don't. I think there's one Jack in the Box in all where I live, and it's like you might want to bring a gun. This is crazy. What the hell? You're blowing my mind right now. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's not the case here. I'm supposed to, uh, wait, wait, I was reading, I was reading Wars comment, I was supposed to ask you a question? I was supposed to ask you a question? Alright, uh, alright, uh, alright, uh, all right. Stone Cold or The Rock? Alright, uh, Shawn Michaels or Bret Hart? Shawn Michaels, okay. Uh, uh, Xbox or PlayStation? Um, let's see, Blue Moon or, uh, Corona? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Ah, uh, that's, that's like, that's like, uh, telling me I can't, like, there's just... I don't I don't like I like to play a lot of different things dude I like I like I like to be polyamorous in my game selections you know I, I yeah, 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 yep. You guys are still going in this same match, huh? So... Uh, what... Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, so... Here comes Sosa, he's bringing it out greater. Oh, shit. Man, Sosa's coming in with greater. Greater is angry. He's like, you beat my kid five to zero, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do the 100 hand slap. He takes the good looking uh whatever Dunlock is his name I think right tosses him halfway across the ring here comes Sosa fam bam 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 man this guy oh damn Damn, Sosa gets the pin. Sosa got the pin. Carnival. Hey, Sosa, Operation Wolf or Operation Thunderbolt? I agree. I totally agree. Um, Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time? Coke or, C Coke or Pepsi? Fight. If 
I'm tired of drinking coke because it has more caffeine. Yeah. Oh shit, dude. Look what you just did to that Rey Mysterio looking guy. Man. You got him. Damn, so so is like no mercy on Papa Brad here. Oh, he just tosses him like a rag doll into the corner. This is like watching like uh whatchamacallit uh Braun Strowman versus Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Dark Realm Gaming asked Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Ocarina of Time. Uh, yeah, Ed War, War is talking about how uh, he got to meet Justin Wong at Evo. That's pretty cool. Okay, my three would be number one's Link to the Past, number two Zelda Two, The Adventures of Link, and num uh, number three is Ocarina of Time. I beat part two. It's hard as hell. Definitely hard as hell. Dude, my Zelda story is this. Zelda 2 was one of the first video games I ever owned. Like, I got the Nintendo, and then for my birthday, like a month later, I got to go to Toys R Us and pick out two games. And I picked out Bubble Bobble and Zelda 2 because I had a gold cartridge. And I didn't know Zelda or Zelda 2 or whatever. And so Zelda 2 is one of the first three video games I owned. And um, so I got all the way to the Golden Palace, and then my little brother, my little brother erased the save, and I never finished the game until until I was 37 years old. I finished it when I was 37 with my kid and my brother. We all like took turns playing. Did I have a what? No, 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 no. No silent scope. Uh, that was for Super yeah, Nintendo. Rob. Did I have Rob? No. Rob was only if you got the Nintendo before it hit like the mainstream stores. You'd have to get Rob by buying it in New York or Chicago or some crap. Did you have power glove? I had the power glove. I got it on clearance. Yeah, the, the, the map that you were yes. I got that with the Nintendo. It came in the box. Look at Donkey Kong's up there on the ropes, man. He's clapping. See that there? I think he comes with uh, Papa Brad's guy selection, man. Anyway. It was cool actually being in charge of the arcade one-up hotel suite. You were in charge of the suite? Are you like the bouncer or what, man? Damn, are you gonna run this back on him? You're gonna run this back back on him? You, you. <laughs> Sosa, why don't I fight you in hyper fighting after this and then we call it? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll play you in Hyper Fighting once you're done with this match, because you want to run it back on Papa Bad, we're going to let you. And then uh, after that, we'll, we'll end the stream after we play a first to five in Hyper Fighting. Yeah. Dang. Man, he got this tall Kogan He-Man looking dude. He got him. He pinned him. It's over. All right. Street Fighter, Sosa, hyper fighting. You ready? So Brad's gonna have to talk, I guess. And I'll try to talk from where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, that worked. What's the code, Sosa? 1770! You had this arcade machine. Is that true? Yeah, that's pretty okay. awesome. So you know how you know how I have a bunch of arcade one ups? Uh-huh. I actually had a bunch of real arcades and I got rid of them to collect arcade one ups. Oh, okay. Because what it was is that real arcades were too big. They're heavy too. They're very heavy. I mean I have I have a real arcade, you know, it's a it's a multi cade. Um, but it's heavy, you know. You have more machines if you have uh, smaller, like three corner stuff. I mean, 
I really like the machines that have the online, though. To me, I think that's a big deal. You know, it, it makes it makes it makes it worth having the cab. You know, I, I mean, I have most of the street, most of the uh, arcade one-up fighting type cabs because they're fun. Yeah. Really good shit I just want each cabinet to look different. For example, I've got, I got a world warrior, I got a champion, I got a hyper fighter. So they will never get me to buy another one of these money titles. They can get me to buy uh, a super, you know what I'm saying? But they, they will never get me to buy another one of the same money title. I'm not gonna what about buy like a What about like an alpha? Alpha type yeah. cab, yeah, 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 yeah. or yeah. Alpha, alpha, yeah. third strike. I mean, there's so many, there's so many titles that haven't, that they still don't even have cabs for. Yeah. What I would like is like a Mega Man, maybe a, a Dungeons Dragons. Yeah, some Shadows over Mysteria. That's an awesome game. Do you have the uh, the Mortal Kombat Deluxe cab, Sosa? I do. Uh, oh, the Part 2 Deluxe? Yeah, it's the same cab oh, as yeah. the 30th anniversary though, isn't it? Yeah. Like the, I the have guts a regular Mortal Kombat too. He has okay. the thing. I won't get rid of it because my grandmother bought it for me. Oh, that's nice. He's got the 30th. So, uh, it's on a metal. Yeah. But, let me show you, dude. There, it is right there. You see it? I got one, two, Wait. and three. You got the trilogy. Yeah, let's see. I'll turn them off for you. I like you that much. I'm not doing this much work. I'm not doing this much work. I'm not doing this much Thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat 3. This part is not quite a good one. Mortal Kombat 3, bro. Here, what I'm going to do for you right now is I will let you throw rapid questions at me. Go for it. As many as you want right now. And I'll answer all of them. Video game related right now. Um, I don't know. I don't know a bunch of uh, video game related questions. Wow. Sure, whatever you want. Anything. Any, any question you want. I want to answer for you right now. Mm. Let's see. Uh, Miss Pac-Man or Galaga? Uh, Robotron or Defender? Uh, Never played Robotron, wow. Okay, check this out. My favorite, check this out. I'll give you, I'll give you a hard fact, bro. You know, random shit that most people don't know. My favorite arcade one-up. I've got 31 arcade one-ups. My favorite arcade one-up is the Gen 1 Centipede. Wow. The only two arcade one-ups that I've played enough to be like, I got my money back when it would count as quarters is my Gen 2, Mortal Kombat 2, and my Gen 1 Centipede. Those are the only two cabinets that I've played enough to be like, I got my money back. Yeah, Centipede's amazing. It's a great game. Out of every arcade cabinet that I have right now, every three-quarter cabinet right now that I have, my absolutely top dog, number one, super favorite cabinet out of all of them is my NBSX. That's my favorite three-quarter scale arcade, is the NBSX. You have the Hilo hack, I'm sure. I do. I got my I got my Galaga for 75 bucks. I got my Space Invaders for 75 bucks. I got my Asteroid for a hundred dollars because I got them on the sales. Yeah, that's the thing. You gotta wait for the sales, you know. I mean, most most arcade ones eventually, if you're patient, you can get a good deal. Just figure out which ones you like. Like on my buy list right now is the Mortal Kombat Deluxe. So when it goes on sale, the right price, we will get it. Yo, 
going on the truth, bro, I will tell the truth. The truth is, now, in life, I don't want to give two fucks about our game. I'm not interested in buying more of them. Really? You know, I'll buy them if they're on sale, but in real life, I don't give a fuck about it no more. I don't care about any of the arcades anymore, dude. I spent so long playing, I spent so much money on it, that it's just like, it is what it is now, man. Yeah. Well, enjoy what you got. I mean, you got a, you got a great collection of games. I just mostly play like PC now, man. That's why I want the IRK for the IRK so much. Because the IRK is a multi game. It's got the HDMI out. You don't have to do all kinds of things. Yeah, it's fun. There's lots of ways to play. There's lots of ways to play games though. To stream or kill it up, it's a lot of work. Chris and yeah. Steph does a lot of shit to get this. Support. I know it's like it's rocket science to get like this picture you're seeing. It's very difficult. This is the first time. I've, this is the first time I've ever done this in uh, Discord. This is pretty interesting. That's how we always stream. That's how we always stream. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never done this before. I've always used StreamYard. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's super Slick, you know, he slicks his hair back, he's got them moves, got them throws. That's you gotta win this, that's you know why. I'll tell you why. I don't count it. What's up, Ichabod? Hey, Ichabod! Let's just go first at 25. Let's just go first at 25. Round one, fight. <laughs> I think Paul Pratt's getting tired, dude. Yeah, that's fine. I can just drop off. That's really good. Y'all can play. Y'all doing great. Are you Chun Lee? Yeah, you Chun Lee. No, I was just gonna shot real fast. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Y'all wanna bring the heat or do you want me to just play regular? Just play, dude. Come on, play. I don't care. Bring the heat. Don't bring the heat. Not who you want to pick. Not who you want to be. Block it. Well, the wife should block it. There you go. Block. Round one. Fight. I got too much time on my hands. Somebody's seen sticks one too many times. <laughs> There you go, man. <laughs> Your block is not bad, man. It's pretty good. 
But what if I told you, Steps, that you had to bring your daughter to the slaughter? Somebody's talking about Iron Maiden. Bring your daughter to the slaughter. Somebody's listened to Foreigner one too many times. Yep. Cold as ice, willing to sacrifice oh, that, right? Oh, right, Sosa? That would be it. Damn, you guys know all the jams. What the heck did I just do? It's crazy. It's like infinity. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Look at that. Do to do to do. Trippy, trippy, trippy. Like, uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I need to put my camera back on. Uh, turn on camera. Chili dogs. That sounds good, man. Who's kicking ass? That would have been Sosa, Ichabod. Probably, probably any of Sosa's kids could beat Papa Brad any fighting game. That was awesome. That was fun. So, so, so Sosa has a friend that likes to play those, uh, all those retro games that you like to play. So we need to figure out how we can make that happen. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like he's bringing a ringer. Like, you want me to, like, you know, I have a friend too. Let me get Billy Mitchell to come <laughs> play some Pac-Man. We want, we want, we want, we want. Pop, pop. Uh, Papa Brad, we want you to fight Nix at uh at Operation Thunderbolt. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This guy is a ringer, dude. He is an old school ringer. Awesome. He he's got a stream. I'm gonna give him a quick shout out. He's got a stream on Apple Play, Spotify, all these type of deal called the Arcade Addict Brian. You may have heard of it. You may, you know, Papa Brad's very knowledgeable when it comes to streaming and, and all that. I think I want to watch this guy. guy. Yeah. Is he the guy yeah, that does? The, he did, he does, does the centipede where he makes like the chasm where all the centipedes go straight down through all the mushrooms. Yeah. It's like a channel. Yeah, you're gonna be fighting. Yeah, yeah, you're going to you're going head to head. You're going. <laughs> you're going head to head with that dude, Brad. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't go ahead regular. Brad. Watch some that's better. That's how you get better at playing those old type games, those dude, old arcade games. You dude, watch people that are good. 
dude, we want we want this guy. We want this guy. We want him to come on. We want to talk about some old arcade games. Let's do it. Like he could show us a thing or two. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, we only we brought Brad. Brad's part of the team here because we need somebody to take the L's. <laughs> Every fighting game, you can just give me an L. <laughs> but you did good at basketball. I did. I, I was kicking ass in that basketball game. I did good with that one. I'm glad you got to play it. I think I, I thought... It was fun. I love that game. It's so much fun. It's excellent. It's really fun. We sh Yeah, we need to see if we can get enough people to run a tournament. I wish more people had that didn't like, maybe like Street Fighter, had more of these Capcom yeah, legacies. Yeah. You know what would be fun is if uh, is if we do these streams and uh, I play some of the games that no one ever plays, like, you know, and you can just switch to it in between, like, Street Fighter matches or whatever. Like, oh, look, here's Echo Fighters being played with two players. Yeah. Because you never see those games on stream, you know? Uh, you're, yeah. I'd love to do that. Beat em ups. And I'm going to go back, because obviously I took about fucking 20 fucking shots on this stream. And I'm all fucking buzzed out. Wait, wait, wait. You... I'm going to go back and talk about some shit that we already talked about, and I'm going back to fucking Centipede. Dude. Brad, dude. What the fuck is your top score on Centipede? Dude, I don't even know. I don't, I don't have to go. Ch I don't even know right now. I'm now, sure your score is good. Sounds like you play a lot. I, I definitely suck how ass that is. Now, I, I talk to these guys, and they're like 130, 150,000, bro. And this is the only cabinet. Next, next to my Mortal Kombat Gen 2, where I've gotten my money back, if you were to count games by quarters. My top score, bro, is I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere around 34,000. Okay. Now, in real life, that sucks ass. But for me, it took me like a thousand fucking games to get it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm at. I could go look. I have it on. I could go look. Can we go look? Sure. I'll go look. Hold on. Sure. I have it on the other room. All right, now steps. Now, 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 you're running this show, and, and you're the president, you know, of the whole show, you know, creator, president, owner, grandmaster, wizard of the show. Are you? Is this show every week going to be arcade one up, or are you going to go to Xbox? Are you going to go to Five K? How is this show going to go? Is it always going to be old games? You going to do new games? I don't. I don't know, so, so I, I already told you I'm a. I'm polyamory as far as video games. I like to play a lot of different things, you know? So for me to say I'm only, I am only like one of these, I, I can't do that, man. I, don't, I can't do that. I like... Well, what I'm is, are, are you going to do 5K as well? You went like 39,824. So, so Papa Brad <laughs> definitely is better than I am. Papa Brad, do you have 5K? Um... I do. I do have fight stick. He, I did install on my computer. He also got a fight stick. He also got a fight stick. So we got to We, we got to teach him how to I'm, do fight cave. I don't know how to do I'm fight cave. I'm going to challenge Brad. I'm challenging you, Brad. Let me put the closer. Uh, there you go. You see me right there? <laughs> I'm challenging you to a fucking centipede high score two quarter challenge. Ooh. Centipede. Ooh. It's hard because you got to use a trackball. Are you? you play I play with a trackball. How do you play it? I don't play with a joystick. Dude, you can put you can put your camera. You can put your camera on the cabinet. I'll put my camera on my arcade one up. Yeah, I'll play some centipede on the arcade one up. I, I challenge you to a centipede battle, bro. Centipede if you accept battle. my challenge to a centipede battle, I will accept your challenge to a game of your choice. Do you? I'll play centipede. I don't need to challenge you. I'll play you a game of centipede for sure, hundred percent. We'll set it up. You hear that? Arcade one up. I have that? a tempest cab. I'll put a camera on it. All right. And I'll put a camera. I will also put a camera on my centipede cabinet. You're probably a beast. Watch this. You'll score like hundred and fifty thousand or something. Bro, I just told you my top score. Are you serious? Okay, you. okay. But you know the crazy part. My wife actually <laughs> has a higher score than me. Ooh. She has, she has the high score in our arcade. She has forty-four thousand five hundred and seven. That's now, the game. Real... That's the only game she'll come in there and play. Like if they're all on, she'll just go straight to Centipede, you know, or Miss Pac-Man. But I don't have a Miss Pac-Man right now. I have Pac-Man. Forty-four thousand is bananas, bro. That score is hardcore. 
Dude, you got all them arcade machines and you can't have a Miss Pac-Man for your wife? You, you need to be get, need to get a Miss Pac-Man. You need to be I get mean, that deluxe cab, Miss Pac-Man and uh, Galaga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should. that's you know that's what I need. Yeah. Yeah, you can't help yourself. You're gonna buy more arcades, Brad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're never done. You can tell yourself, "This is it. I'm done. I'm done. I will never, ever, ever. G- I am out of space. Look at this room." I'm out. I will never get another arcade. I have every arcade I've ever wanted, and I'm done. And guess what's gonna happen, Steps? You're gonna next week, next month, it's gonna happen. You're gonna get another one. Brad's it's getting different. Update. True. Update. Brad's buying Fast and the Furious. That's right. They, they suck you in. They suck he, you in. You're, you're never done. You're he's buy. He's buying two of them so he can link them with his grandkids. And, and, and no. you know. You're never done. The more of them you have, though, the more of them you have to fix, too, though, when they break. That's the bad part. Okay, so the show's... My pinball went out today. My pinball went out. Steps on the regular. I talked to Steps on the regular, so I know what Steps has, and I know what's going on with Steps. Brad, do you play PC games? Do you play Xbox? Do you play PlayStation? What else are you into? I just mainly, mainly um, arcade games, what I play. Mm -hmm. It's like... Mostly older, you know. I play a lot of a lot of eighty stuff, mm. but I, I I play I arcade of course, but I mean I like arcade games. I like that 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 format. It's what I enjoy. If you if if you got held at gunpoint and they said you could only keep one of your arcade cabinets for taking the rest out of here, which one would you keep, Brad? You know what I'm gonna say. You're gonna you're say. keeping the I arcade gold. I guarantee it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> But, you know, <laughs> then probably the At Games Legends Ultimate. I mean, it's just my favorite, you know? Because mm. you can but play so many games keep? on it. What's Steps going to keep? So we'll say, Steps, you can choose out of all the cabinets that you've owned. Not the, not all of them that you have, but all of them that you've owned. Which one are you keeping? Big Blue. Big Blue. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sp- so it's just keeping the MVSX. Okay. You asked me, I gotta be honest, but like it's really hard because I really like I really like that, that Retromania cap a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I you know. But well, if you love Street Fighter, I mean it's the Street Fighter machine, you know? I didn't like Street Fighter. I I didn't like I love Street Fighter, but I didn't like it as much yeah. as I did until I started hanging out with everybody in the um, DJ Elk crowd and the Shaft crowd and all that Naksu Kao. Yeah, you can see it gets really uh, fun when you get when you get to that level where you can really play at a higher level, like 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 you, like I watched tonight. I mean, you can see it's a lot of fun. I've, it's a lot of strategy. I've gotten a lot better, and I've gotten a lot better play calling specifically because of them. And like honestly, like I don't, I have nothing but good things to say about this arcade one of Street Fighter Two community. Um. Um, so there you go. But, uh, but, but, but the thing is, the, 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 this, this is what it comes down to when it comes to arcade. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Steps, never mind. I'm going to say fuck this. This is a no trauma string. Fuck it. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all good. I don't want to complain about anything okay. anymore. I just want to have fun and enjoy games. And That's I, it, I, I just have fun. I enjoy the hell out of the big blue. I enjoy the hell out of the IRK. All right, and I got the killer. The killer instinct I have is pretty cool, and I got some random PCBs. But, but like the the two that I play the most are that. Um. So there you go. There's your answer. And I play those probably play those more than I play the Xbox. Yeah. And for me, I play I play probably the most the IRK and the At Games Legends Ultimate, and then probably the pinball after that. But I broke the pinball's broken now, so I'll be playing something else. I play, yeah. Um, you can you can find me on uh, Fight Kid or Steam. If it's not Fight Kid or Steam, I ain't playing fucking shit. Okay. You know, I the last time I played RK went up was the last time Steph said let's play RK went up. Did so, did you did you have fun playing Arcade One Up tonight with Brad, myself, and the chat? Okay. It was fun. Let, let me play like this. Let me play like this, bro. Let me play like this. When I play arcade throughout the month, 
You know, I've been watching my electricity. So if I come out here every day of the month and I play arcade every day of the month, my electricity is about $1,200 a month. If I don't play arcade one up every day of the month and I play Steam every day of the month, my electricity is about $300 a month. So people who are like, like, oh, these arcade one ups, these are, no, it costs a lot of money to play these every single day. To have them on every single day is a lot of money. If you leave 31 cabinets on, Every single day of the month, it's about eight hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that's a lot of Just cabinets. cabinets. Yeah, I, I have a power grid right beside this room. It powers all these all these screens. So you know. Do you got you got a solar panel? Hey, I saw yeah, I'm a, I'm I a solar panel. I saw chaotic join the stream. I don't know when I when he did or didn't. Uh, you know, uh, but hello, chaotic and Bobby Vu came back clean like a mother. Get get your Bobby clean get your like boot. Get your Bobby Vu deck. Let me tell you, it is. Absolutely. Make sure you subscribe to Steps Gaming. Yes, subscribe. To Steps yes. Gaming. subscribe. Get, Gaming to, to get get them get uh, Steps to fifteen hundred. I have a lot. So we can do the, uh, so we can do yes. Sweepstakes. I I have a lot of work to do to get these people their 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 sweepstakes and their prizes, man. Because I know. I it know. takes a lot of work, and it's gonna it's gonna happen. So, let if you could subscribe. It helps because then we can start giving so, we can start giving Bobby Vu shit away. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. You know? Bobby Vu's the best. Don't so, be a spud. Don't be a spud. Subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Do you want to buy a I arcade from Bobby Vu? It'll hook me up at a fair price. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He said. I think he said he had five of them. If Bobby Foo's like Sosa, I'll sell you an arcade for like 150 bucks. That's too cheap. That's too cheap. That's too cheap. That's too cheap. Something regular. 200. Because don't forget, I got to drive all the way to where the fuck he lives and get it. I think he lives in like Southern uh, uh, Southern California somewhere. I don't know where, but yeah. that's a far drive for me. I understand that. But, but like, but like you know, he probably paid 300 for it. <laughs> Damn. Still, it's used. It's open and used. I think he got. I think he did get one off Facebook for fifty dollars. But you know, yeah, maybe. well, he's on those oh, deals. Oh, Speaking of deals, awesome. I have a walking sock coming up with a crazy deal. Yeah. I picked up a holy grail for mm. Atari collectors. Ah, oh, Atari. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yeah, I'll do a walk. My walking sock is done. I just have to do a little more editing to it, but it's. It's it's gonna probably come out tomorrow or the next day. Awesome. See, awesome. That starts off, it starts off in black and white. We're going way retro on this one. Black and white. That sounds yeah. cool, man. It's cool. It is cool. I like to try stuff. My channel is listed as experimental. Like if you look <laughs> experimental. <laughs> It is, yeah. It's like because I try so many different things. You know, I'm not just one thing. Yeah, yeah. I do that too. You know, I do live that streaming. too. Streaming. Walk, walk and sock, shorts, um, um, you know, three to four shows. I've, I, out of the past week, I've been doing live streams every day during drive time. So, like, you know, I try a bunch of stuff. That's kind of my format. Mm -hmm. Experimental. That's what it says, like, experimental. But I'm having fun. Yeah. I... It's all just a hobby for me, too, you know. It's not my job. This is just for fun. It's supposed to be fun. There's a lot of people on YouTube who do this shit because they want all the super chats and they want all the money and all that shit. I could care less about that. And, hey, check this out. Check this out. Look it. Look it. Our k one ups are turning on by themselves. By themselves. You see that? Dude, you got some I didn't ghosts. even get up. I didn't even get up. I, I looked over there and like three times. What the hell? Look at these ones too. These ones too. You seen I was just sitting here. You see that? Well, that's crazy. Dude, why are we getting why are we getting a birthday advertisement in front of your face? <laughs> it's you. You gotta you gotta X that. It's because you may have clicked on that uh, other thing right there. Oh, there it's gone. What the hell? That's weird. No, no, you did it. Hey, I ain't clicking. Is, I, I, I thought, like, these arcades flickered by themselves and i was like oh my god is something going on here and then out of nowhere they just all turned on by themselves oh dude See, that's the dude dude you got a poltergeist my, my big buck hunter 
doesn't turn off. I have to unplug it. It doesn't turn off. I don't understand that. That that's that yeah. that that happens with the KI too. <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my killer instinct will not. You can turn it on, you can turn it off, but then you can't turn it back on again until you unplug it. Yeah. You have to unplug it or disconnect it from the power and then turn it back on. So I just hooked it to a power strip, and like when I'm done playing, I flip the power strip on and off. Yeah, my my my. I don't I don't want to say the Amazon dot's name because, but I could tell the dot to. Turn on Killer Instinct. Yeah. So. Now, my Killer Instinct, I got my Killer Instinct, and the first stick for player one, diagonals don't work. <laughs> Change the sticks. Yeah, that's how it worked, though. I shouldn't have to for that, for, you know, for that price. So you paid the 700 didn't you? I paid 400 Papa Brad paid 299 Right? I think so, yeah. You don't want to know what I paid. <laughs> yeah, it's good though. It doesn't matter what you pay. It's all the same. Same games. But, you know, to me, get them cheap, you know? Always, always get them, get the deals, you know? The deal, always. the deals. We're, we're becoming like, yeah. we're becoming like an arcade talk show. I show for only two things. For, for good deals for consumers and for good games. That's it, man. You want to say hi to everybody? You going to call it? Now say hi. Say hi. Hello. Say hi. How are you guys hi. doing? Here, say hi. Hey, hey. Hi, how are you? Hi. hi. Hello. Hey, you want a piece too? Here, use over there. Say hi. See, that's four. I got three more running around somewhere, probably breaking my shit. Oh, the other ones are in the room playing Minecraft. I got seven, bro. I got seven. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. I put in that work. That's right. My favorite hobby is sleeping with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> is that a... Hey, wasn't that the joke? That the no, joke? that was what I told. I told you. I told you that was my grandfather. My grandfather was a steel mill worker, and they and they had a form they filled out at the work the office, and they said they said, "What's your favorite hobby?" And he wrote down sleeping with my wife. <laughs> I never met him. So. See, the thing about them is they, if they make sandwiches, they'll eat, like, two loaves in, like, ten minutes. You know, they'll go through, like, $30 worth of sandwich meats in, like, ten minutes. Like, it costs a lot of money to feed seven kids. People don't realize that. You have a cat. You must have a cafeteria going on over there. <laughs> See, yeah. See, Steps knows because Steps has kids. Papa Brad knows because he got kids and grandkids. So you guys understand you know the struggle that i'm going through right now you know what i'm saying now obviously i have enough money to feed all the kids i'm just saying it costs a lot of money to feed a bunch of kids like that yeah that's life yeah it's been really it's been, it's been really good streaming with you guys tonight but, yes you know, kind of getting to that hour where i gotta go inside and be dead yes you should do that yeah. dude you guys have a wonderful night I'm going to end the stream. We can have a quick powwow and get the hell out of here. I appreciate everybody that tuned in today.